Hi everybody, welcome back again to Tasty Tuesday from my kitchen in Washington State. Although by the time you see this video, I should be in the state of Hawaii on the island of Maui, where we are spending um, most of the fall this year. Um, but this salad today that I'm sharing with you is something I know I'm gonna make while I'm in Hawaii. And I've been trying to work on a few Tasty Tuesdays ahead of time so I can take a break while I'm in Maui. Um, so today I'm sharing with you this salad that's called Ra Raul's Shrimp Salad. And I've never made it before. It was uh, shared with me by my friend Deborah Holland and she thought it would make a great Tasty Tuesday. By the way, if you have a recipe you'd like me to try for Tasty Tuesday, I'm game, so go ahead, send me a message. But um, Raul's shrimp salad, to me, the ingredients sound almost identical to gazpacho. I learned to make gazpacho, actually I'd been making it for years, but I learned to make authentic Spanish gazpacho in a cooking class in Barcelona. And it's one of my favorite uh, soups, especially, of course, in the summertime since it's a cold soup. But today we're going to try this salad. Um, it's currently very hot here. It's still summer in Washington State. Um, by the time you see this, it might not be so hot anymore. But uh, it should be in Hawaii anyway. Don't mean to rub it in. I'm just saying. So let's try Raul's shrimp salad today and see what we think. This is gonna be our dinner tonight, just the shrimp salad. Um, I'm going to um, serve it with a little crusty French bread and um, I don't know, maybe some fruit on the side. So let's get started. This is, by the way, so the recipe I'm sharing with you today, I have cut in half since there's just two of us. Um, so Raul's recipe is for four people, so you can double the ingredients. Also, this is a perfect kind of recipe for you to add your own special touches, which I have done and I'll share with you what those are. So Raul calls for uh, tomato juice. I bought V8 because I just love that little something something in V8. This is about a quarter cup of V8. Next, we have one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. Yummy. And I have one teaspoon of Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. And we have, um, you can use Tabasco. I have sriracha in my refrigerator, so I'm doing just a couple of quick squeezes of sriracha and some sea salt. This is actually some sea salt I brought home from um, Iceland and it has a few little herbs in it, but you can use anything that you have. Just eyeball it. Okay, there we go. Now, let's mix that up. So if you were making gazpacho, you would use a whole heck of a lot more tomato juice. This is just gonna coat the rest of our ingredients very nicely. I have one pound of large shrimp um, you can buy them already cooked if you'd like, or you can cook them yourself. I bought them already cooked and peeled. In they go. And now I have three fourths cup of a red pepper. It's about one small red pepper. I have a third cup of celery chopped fine. It's about one celery stalk. And this ingredient uh, was not in Raul's recipe, but I would always put uh, cucumber in gazpacho, so it seemed like a good addition to me. This is two thirds cup of finely chopped cucumber. And finally, I have about a quarter of cup of fresh cilantro and about a tablespoon of fresh chives from my garden. That's it. How simple could that be? Let's stir it up. 
Now, this is gonna go into my fridge for a couple of hours, maybe three, three hours. If you can do that, um, I recommend it as I would with any kind of marinated salad like this. And then we'll come back and have it for our dinner a little bit later. Um, I bought some really nice um, French bread at the bakery this morning. And it's got some, um, it's like got Kalamata olives and uh, garlic in it. I'm just gonna warm that up. That will be a really nice addition to this beautiful, simple shrimp salad. You know, I think you could make this with um, smaller shrimp, um, the little tiny guys, but this sure makes it pretty. There it is. Could it be quicker? Smells delicious. In fact, I'm gonna sneak one, shall I? I think it'll be better after it um, sits in the fridge for a while. Mmm. Mmm. That lemon juice really comes through. And the sriracha. I'm really glad I used the V8. That's just got such a nice flavor. Raul's shrimp salad. You should try it. That's my Tasty Tuesday. We'll see you next week.